How to Care for Your Baby's Teeth Even though your baby will eventually lose her first set of teeth, it is still important to take proper care of baby teeth. This ensures that your baby's teeth will remain healthy until they are replaced by permanent teeth. Proper dental care while your child is very young will also help her establish good dental habits as she grows older. Method 1 Taking care of your baby's mouth before and during teething 1. Check whether fluoride is in your water supply. Fluoride can help your baby's teeth before they grow in. In general, fluoride helps make your baby's enamel strong. Most cities and municipalities put fluoride into the drinking water. If the water you drink contains fluoride, you're in luck and do not have to do anything extra. If the drinking water where you live doesn't contain fluoride, talk to your doctor or dentist about adding fluoride to your baby's diet. To check if fluoride is included in your drinking water, you can check your city or municipality website, or call directly and ask. If you live in a remote area where your water comes from a well, it will not be treated with fluoride unless you have installed a system which does that for you. However, fluoride is present in most water naturally to some degree, so you should have your well water tested to determine the amount present. 2. Wipe your baby's gums every day. Before your baby's first teeth come in, and while your baby is teething, you should wipe your baby's gums with a clean, damp cloth every day. Wrap the cloth around your index finger, and use your finger to carefully wipe all your baby's gums. You can also choose to use a small and gentle infant toothbrush directly on the gums if you prefer. Do not use toothpaste. Use only water. 3. Brush teeth daily with an infant toothbrush. Once your baby's first tooth appears, start brushing your baby's teeth once a day. At this stage you'll only need to use a tiny amount of toothpaste, about the size of a grain of rice, and water. Use fluoride toothpaste made specifically for infants or children when brushing your baby's teeth. Look for fluoride toothpaste that has the American Dental Association's, ADA, or Canadian Dental Association's, CDA, seal of acceptance somewhere on the package. Continue to wipe your baby's gums in between where teeth are growing. 4. Floss between your baby's teeth. Once your baby has teeth that are located side by side and are touching, you can start to floss your baby's teeth regularly. 5. Learn the best techniques for brushing your baby's teeth. One of the easiest ways to brush your baby's teeth is to have your baby sit on your lap facing forward. Your baby's head can then rest back against your chest. This puts you in the same position as if you were brushing your own teeth, which will make the process a lot easier. Brush your baby's teeth using small circles. Once your baby gets too big to sit on your lap, have your child stand in front of you, on a stool if required. Your child's head should be tilted up slightly so you can easily see all her teeth. 6. Remove bottles from your baby's mouth when falling asleep. While it may be convenient, you should not put your baby to bed with a bottle and allow him to fall asleep with it. The sugar from the milk or juice in the bottle can harm your baby's enamel. This is also referred to as bottle mouth. A sure sign of bottle mouth is when your baby's front teeth are pocked, pitted, or discolored. Unfortunately if a severe case of bottle mouth develops, teeth may need to be removed before they fall out naturally. On the whole, it's best not to put juice in a bottle at any time, and to limit juice given to babies. 7. Take your baby to the dentist once the first tooth has grown in. In general, you can wait to take your baby to the dentist either at one year old, or when the first tooth has grown in, whichever happens first. Your dentist will then be able to show you preventative care tips to ensure your baby's mouth and teeth stay strong and healthy for life. Method 2 Keeping Your Baby's Teeth Healthy for Life 1. Soothe Sore Gums When Your Baby Is Teething most babies will begin teething when they're around 6 months old, although it is not uncommon for age ranges to differ greatly. Normally a baby's two bottom front teeth come in first, followed by the two top front teeth. If your baby is teething she may drool, need to chew on solid objects, become irritable, or have sore gums. There are a few things you can do to help alleviate your baby's discomfort. Use your finger to rub your baby's gums and apply pressure. The pressure may help ease the pain for a short time. Make sure your hands are clean first. Cold can sometimes ease the pain of teething. You can give your baby something cool to chew or suck on to help alleviate the pain. A cool washcloth, spoon, or teething ring work best. 
Make sure the item is only cool, not frozen. Try giving your baby cooled hard food to chew on while teething. A peeled and cooled cucumber or carrot work great. Place the food into a mesh feeding bag designed for this purpose, or supervise your baby so the food doesn't become a choking hazard. Depending on how painful teething is for your baby, you might also want to try medications. Children's strength acetaminophen and ibuprofen can help ease the pain. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you are unsure of the proper doses of medication. Ibuprofen is given only to children over 6 months old. 2. Start brushing your baby's teeth twice per day. Once all of your baby's baby teeth have grown in, you can switch to brushing twice a day. Until your child is able to spit out the toothpaste on his own, continue to use only a rice-sized amount of toothpaste at each brushing. 3. Stop thumb-sucking behavior when adult teeth grow in. Sucking on a thumb, finger, pacifier, or other objects is a perfectly natural behavior for babies. However, thumb-sucking after adult teeth have grown in can cause permanent damage with how the mouth grows, how teeth align, and how the roof of the mouth forms. Pacifiers are no better than thumb-sucking when it comes to long-term damage to the mouth. It is a good idea to encourage your child to stop sucking a thumb or pacifier before adult teeth grow in. One way to do this is to praise your child for not sucking on her thumb. You could also give your child a comfort item such as a stuffed animal or blanket to use when she is tired or wants to suck her thumb or use a pacifier. Thumb sucking is often a side effect of insecurity or discomfort. Therefore, one of the best ways to stop thumb sucking is to address the underlying reason for it. If your child feels insecure or uncomfortable, address that problem first, and thumb sucking should stop as your child becomes more secure and comfortable. If you are having trouble getting your child to stop thumb sucking, you can also consult with your dentist for additional ideas and even medication that may help. 4. Teach your toddler how to spit out the toothpaste. When your child is about 2 years old, you should start to teach spitting. You need to encourage your child to spit out excess toothpaste instead of swallowing it. While it may seem easier to use water to help your child spit out the excess toothpaste, the sense of water in her mouth might actually increase the chances of swallowing. And rinsing a mouth with water after brushing can also rinse away the fluoride that is beneficial for teeth. 5. Create an example of good oral care by allowing your child to watch you brush your teeth. Babies and children learn a lot by watching what their parents do. To help teach your child that brushing and flossing are good habits to get into, allow your child to watch you do these things. You can even have your child imitate you while you're brushing and flossing. 6. Increase the amount of fluoride toothpaste used. Once your child is able to spit out excess toothpaste while brushing, you can increase the amount of toothpaste used to a pea-sized amount. This normally happens when your child is about 3 years old. 7. Supervise your child while brushing. Even when your child is old enough to brush, you should continue to supervise until your child is at least 6 years old. The main reason for continuing supervision is to ensure your child isn't using too much toothpaste or swallowing it. Method 3 Feeding Your Baby the Right Foods to Prevent Tooth Decay 1. Breastfeed until your baby is 6 months old. Breast milk is the absolute best food your baby can consume. Even when a baby starts on solid food around 6 months of age, he can continue to drink breast milk or breast milk substitutes. As long as you clean your baby's teeth and gums after meals, breast milk should not have any negative impacts on your baby's oral health. 2. Eat a healthy, well-balanced diet. While you're breastfeeding, anything you eat can affect your baby. Therefore you need to eat a healthy and well-balanced diet in order to ensure both you and your baby remain healthy. Calcium is vital for the development of strong and healthy bones and teeth. This means you need to ensure you consume enough calcium for both yourself and your baby while you're breastfeeding. 3. Start feeding your baby solid food at 6 months. Your baby should start eating solid food at around 6 months of age. Ideally, this solid food should be fortified with iron and contain no added sugar. Serving cereal with milk will help reduce the effect the sugar will have on your baby's teeth. You should not allow your baby to consume sweetened cereal as a snack between meals. The exposure of your baby's teeth to sugar over a long period of time is worse than if the sugary item is consumed all at once. 
4. Avoid giving your baby cow's milk until she turns 1. In order to avoid iron deficiency anemia, your baby should not be given cow's milk until at least 1 years of age. If you want to put milk on your baby's cereal, use breast milk or infant milk, not cow's milk. When your baby is between 1 and 2 years old, you can start providing cow's milk as a drink, but only up to a maximum of 24 ounces per day. 5. Switch from a bottle to a sippy cup when your baby is 6 months old. In order to ensure bottle mouth doesn't happen to your baby, it is a good idea to start switching to a sippy cup around 6 months of age. The sucking motion of drinking from a bottle can actually damage your baby's mouth, so switching to a safer form of cup is a good idea. 6. Reduce the amount of sugar your baby or child consumes. Sugar can cause teeth to decay in adults and children. If your child has sweets every day, it will significantly increase the risk of tooth decay. Reduce the amount of sweets your baby or child consumes, including sugary drinks, to help prevent any form of dental intervention. Tooth decay and damage can also be caused by drinks that are highly acidic, like juice. Give your baby mainly milk and water to drink, instead of pop or juice. Check the amount of sugar contained in baby food and try to select the options with the least amount of sugar. Dilute juice with water by adding 10 times the amount of water to a bit of juice. Reward your baby with objects like stickers, etc., rather than cookies or sweet treats. If your baby requires medication, ask your doctor for a sugar-free version. 7. Beware of fruit juice. Fruit juice contains a lot of sugar, because of this infants should consume no more than 4 to 6 ounces of juice per day at most. If an infant is given fruit juice to drink, all the juice should be consumed at once. Fruit juice should only be given as a drink during the day, not before bedtime. Infants should eat mashed or pureed fruit prepared at home. Unfortunately a lot of mashed or pureed fruit baby food includes added sugar. If you are unable to make your own, look for a commercial version with low or no sugar. If you give an infant juice to drink, it needs to be consumed all at once, over a short period of time. The longer teeth are exposed to sugar, the harsher the impact will be to the teeth. The same suggestions for fruit juice also apply to soda pop and any other beverages with sugar added, e.g. Cool Aid. Tips For more information on the average time frame when a baby's primary teeth will start to appear or erupt, refer to the charts on the following website http www.mouthhealthy.org naz topics e eruption charts. For detailed information about pediatric dental care, see the following PDF on the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry's website http www.aapd.org assets 17fastfacts.pdf. Newborn babies do not have the bacteria that can cause tooth decay. But a parent or another child can pass this dangerous bacteria to a baby by sharing a spoon, bottle, or pacifier. Symptoms of teething can include drooling, hand or object biting, decreased appetite, increased crying or irritability, or swollen gums.